Hello, my name is Jonathan Miller. I am here with Rob Ellen, CEO and founder of Live One Entertainment on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Now, uh, Rob and I have been familiar with each other for a little bit here at some of these events. Rob, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about Live One and uh, the focus of the business? So, thanks, John. Um, it's an exciting time for our company. We're, we're a music subscription service um, that is exploding. Uh, over 180,000 new subscribers this quarter alone and EBITDA over 4 million. So we've combined together audio, video, podcasting, pay-per-view, all in a social environment to create the first ever truly unique subscription model at the lowest price of anyone in the industry. And based on what I understand from your competitors, you're sort of a cut above the rest on what it is uh, you're doing performance-wise. Yeah, I think, I think you know, what we've, we've always held out is that we're built on original programming. So being built on original programming, we have 30% plus margins, while the industry is looking at 15% margins, right? It's starting to prove itself out. So now as we've been able to consolidate six acquisitions and really focus it, is why you're seeing that massive growth, and most important, that massive growth to the EBITDA line. Great, and for those that don't know you already, how did you get involved in the space and in the company? Yes, yeah, so I've, been, I've been around music for a long time. I came off of uh, starting Digital Turbine and having an amazing run with Digital Turbine. And I was looking for my next opportunity, and music always fascinates me. Right? I have four children. One's a professional singer. The other one's in the music business at Columbia. So as you look at that space, you saw that most of the biggest media companies have been built off the back of music. Could we create a moat? Could we create it and find that TAM? where there's going to be 1.7 billion paying subscribers to music. Could I get a little tiny piece of it? Could I get 1% or 2% of that market share and create a billion dollar company? And so I got lucky. I acquired Slacker Radio. It was distressed. It was losing 20 million a year. We're now making well over $10 million a year on that division alone. Wow. And I've actually been following your story for the last five, six years since it was Slacker Radio. What have been some of your biggest strengths in accomplishing what you've done? Well, we've done a lot of acquisitions. Right, And probably our biggest strength is survival. We survived COVID. We survived the market collapsing, right? And we're sitting here today and we're growing like a weed, right? Revenue's growing, EBITDA growing, subscribers growing. So what we've done is we put together acquisitions that fit in neatly. And we were finally, as, as we, we put these pieces together this year, been able to consolidate those and be able to take some costs out of the business and really put ourselves in a position to a billion dollar valuation over the next couple of years. That's fantastic. And you touch on this lightly, given the market, uh, the market, market's current weaknesses. Uh, do you think we're heading towards a recession? How do you think that'll impact the business? I think, I think we're going to have a listen. It's never as bad as it looks, and it's never as good as it looked. We had an amazing run during COVID, where trillions of dollars were poured into the system. Somehow, going to figure out how that flushes itself out. I think we're going to go through a really rough period, but it's not nearly as bad as it looks. And we're going to we're going to in the media space. This is time you shine. Yeah. Right? People are going to go back to radio, they're going to go to audio, and they're going to go, go to live streaming, and they're always going to pick their favorite creators. That's never going away. Good markets and bad markets. So your optimism is contagious. Yeah. Uh, what are, some of, the, what are some of the big uh, events or, or uh, promotions you have coming up that uh, uh, not only investors but uh, consumers should be aware of? Well, we just, we just announced a really exciting deal with Action Park, adding my brother's podcast, Victory, which I love if you're an Entourage fan. And... Um, and many others, right? Our podcasting business did 8.7 million this quarter, and we've added over 100 podcasters since we acquired it. So now over 325 podcasters. In terms of live events, there will be a next social boxing match. This weekend, I'm going to see Jake Paul in Phoenix. Um, we helped create that business. And next we'll be up is you're going to see our television show, which will be a reality show around social boxing and give the opportunity for social media stars to box around the globe in a league. That's great. And he's, I believe he's fighting Anderson Silva, right? He is. Wow. He is. So how do you keep up and track these trends in the, in the space, in the entertainment space, and, and get an idea of what your focus should be on? I, I, got, a lot of, I got a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I got four of them from 12 to 20, 20 to 26, 28. But this is what we live. We live for creators. We're a creator-first platform. We learn and we live for them, and we, we find out what they're doing, where things are going, find their passions. One of the great things we just announced is we just announced our first celebrity-owned product. So with Jeremiah, uh, anyone knows you're a great R&B singer, Grammys, the whole works. We just announced our wine with him, and 
You're going to see many other celebrity brands coming out of it. And taking our communities, which are so sizable, we've had 5 billion engagements across our video. Wow. We've had 2.4 billion downloads of our podcast, and we've had, we've had over, over 55 billion listens of our audio. Take those community and now bring to them these great events and these great products with it. Wow. So you see kind of an emerging trend in not only the uh, in-person events and uh, venues, but also in the uh, streaming space and, and landscape as well. Yeah, so I, you know, I just had this conversation with one of our large investors. I was articulating to him when ESPN, uh, who Steve Bornstein, who built it, is on my board 30 years ago, 35 years ago, came along, it changed the world, right? The first fear was if you put it on television, people won't go to the games. Yeah. What happened? More teams, more leagues, more money, billions and billions of dollars creating. The same thing is happening in music. Music is explosive now in live streaming. There won't be a single festival that is not live streamed. And I think the next great thing that's going to happen in live streaming is going to be pay-per-view. Yeah. And so when you think about and you look at what's happened in the market, when I started this, there was no one in the market, right? Now today, Apple bought the rights from Pepsi, took over the rights to the Super Bowl. Wow. Uh, I don't know what the number is they paid. It's a big spend. But I promise you it's the biggest spend in the history of, of the Absolutely. Super Bowl for music. Yeah, I would agree. And uh, you mentioned briefly uh, a little bit about your recent earnings. Is there anything else you wanted to highlight for investors to, uh, to go ahead and check out in, the, in that earnings? Yeah, we're going we're to be announcing our dividend right, for our podcast business. We just closed an $8.1 million financing, amazingly, at $68 million valuation. Okay? And we're trading below that right now. That's 23% of our revenues in just our podcast business. But for all of our shareholders and all new shareholders, there's going to be a very short window where you have an opportunity to own the stock that you're also going to own a piece of Podcast One. So as that gets That's dividend cool. out, that should be announced, you know, certainly before year end and maybe way earlier. Wow. Rob, thank you so much. Again, the company is Live One. Go check out their ticker. Go subscribe to their platforms and uh, check out this interview again. Thank you, Rob. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. Take care.